Hi, welcome back to Shotoki Tech. It's been a while since I've visited the Arduino IoT Cloud. Previously, I flew this Arduino Opla IoT kit in a rocket. But I just got the newsletter from Arduino and it says you can use your cell phone as an IoT device in the Arduino Cloud. How do you do it? It's this easy. Install the Arduino IoT Remote app on your phone. Then all you have to do is click on use data from your phone. So here's my Moto E. Yeah, click on use data from your phone. And it's detecting the sensors. It might use these sensors. Allow exchanging data between your phone and the IoT cloud. It's creating the device, the dashboard, and it's initializing the stream. Last minute check for permission to use the data on your phone. I set it so that it's only while the phone app is open. And here we go. Here's the things <laughs> opening up. There's the accelerometer readings, X, Y, Z, and linear acceleration. And there's the GPS coordinates coming in showing on the map. No, I'm not going to zoom in because you'll see exactly where I'm at. So here in the cloud, we see the device. And here's the cloud variables that were set up automatically just by pushing a few buttons on your phone. Yeah, here's the dashboard. And again, I'm not going to zoom in on the map because it's going to show you exactly where I'm at. I, I checked it and it's, it's dead on right where I'm sitting. So let's shake things up a little bit. We're going to move the phone around and watch it on the IoT dashboard. Yeah, here we go. There's the Arduino IoT dashboard on both the phone and on my PC. And you can see it's perfectly synchronized. And think about it, this is cellular data. So I'm thinking I could set my phone so that it doesn't go to sleep, fire up the camera, and then open this app, the Arduino IoT remote app, and tape my phone to a rocket. And I'd have the video from the camera on my phone and the GPS tracker. And of course, the acceleration data as well. So I hope you enjoyed this look at using your phone as an IoT device in the Arduino IoT cloud. I think this was very interesting. And give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and before you go watch more of my Arduino videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.